Aloha. Okay, students, here we go. For years, I've been asked to do this for any of you 25 years ago that have done these cleanses. So I'm going to show you how to do this alkaline broth in the way that I do it. So we have our pot. So you want a nice big pot. Do not use aluminum because you don't want all stainless. You want stainless steel. And then I put purified water in there. It matters. And I've done this so many times, you'll see how quick this is. Now this is what you're going to live on, like every evening this is your dinner. And also um, throughout the day, if you need to keep it in a thermos, you're allowed to nourish yourself, fill yourself with beta carotene, stuffing those cells with all the antioxidants it needs, so that life is good. So I'm going to put about, um, I put about an inch of water in, your, in the pot. So we're going to do that. And then I put sea salt. So again, never iodize salt. If you're my student, you're not going to use it, throw it out. You use it for ice, you use it to keep centipedes out, you don't use iodized salt. So you want, like this is a nice Himalayan sea salt, or we have um, regular sea salt. Make sure it's natural and not artificial. There's also like Celtic sea salt. These are all heaven salts. So regardless if you have high blood pressure, any of that going on, ignore your doctor's sodium, things that are through um, ingredients, that's garbage. That's what, that's what kicks up your high blood pressure, not sea salt. All mammals need sea salt. So this is Herbs of Provence. I love this. Each time I make a soup each week, I do something different because I like it to taste unique so I never get bored with it. And just so you know, I basically, this cleanse that you're doing for 30 days, I live on it practically my whole life. I've done it for regularly probably for the last so many, um, I don't know, six, seven years. So this is, I got this from the Indian store, coriander and cumin. Now, sometimes I do a curry, but I'm not gonna do it today because I'm putting these wonderful peppers in there. So in Texas, we have so many peppers, I love it. I'm still learning how hot they are. This one is called, what is this kind called? Poblano. Poblano, okay, so this one is not that hot. It's less hot than a uh, jalapeno. Now, last time I did a soup, I actually blackened this on the grill and then put it in at the end. It was heaven, but right now I'm doing it raw, so we could do it anyway. So I'm gonna throw that in there, so that was it. And then here it is. If we were cutting it from the beginning, I want you to make certain that you take those seeds out, because those seeds are what makes peppers very hot, so get rid of those. And rinse your hands, because if you were to like wipe your eyes or something after touching those seeds, you will burn your eyes. So those seeds are intense, regardless of the heat of the pepper. Okay, so let's, and watch. So it's so easy, like we don't have to do it in small things, because we're going to puree it afterwards. And now, every soup, I will either put a butternut squash, or I put sweet potatoes and I just scrub the outside. Now this one I cut in half because it was so huge. So I usually like the smaller ones, but they didn't have any small ones. So I, I turned this into two soups. So I already scrubbed the outside. I'm gonna just cut this little side off. It makes it easy. Get a knife that works for you. And I'll go throw that out to the deers, all the extras from the soup. The birds, the deers, the rabbits, they love it that I make this soup every week. So we're going to cut this up. Now this I cut in probably in sixes. So I don't want it too big or too small because I want as much room as I can get in that pot. Come in. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. See? Big chunks. So the harder vegetables you throw in first after you put your seasoning in, and then the green leafy vegetables like the cilantro, spinach, collard greens, mustard greens, kale, chard, any of that stuff, that goes on top because it doesn't need to be in the water or boiled as much. Okay, so this was a little bit of last time I used some cauliflower. So I love colors. Now mind you, all the colors are what the body needs. Everything's already been rinsed. If you're wondering, 
And again, we could keep everything, use it all. So the more colors you use in your diet, they say to eat the rainbow. We are eating the rainbow. Cilantro will take heavy metals out of your body. So I put cilantro in everything. If you have that strange little rare um, enzyme in your body that when you taste cilantro, it tastes like soap, don't use it. I have had clients like that. So I am putting an apple in this one. Through this cleanse, you're allowed apples as your snacks because it helps regulate your blood sugar. But this one, I want just a little touch of sweet. So that's gonna be fun. Just cut those seeds out of there. Again, I scrub the outside so everything is good. We're almost done. Voila, voila. Let's cut him up. Come here. Make it faster. I'm trying to get this video. Workable. Okay, and we're throwing zucchini in there. I'm just cutting the ends off and chopping that puppy up. Nice. And look, fresh ginger. So I like about an inch of ginger. I do not peel it. I don't care. It's fine. So look, just like that. And then if you could get fresh turmeric, if not, both the ginger and the turmeric you could get in powder. I just prefer it fresh and it's it's accessible here, it's accessible in Hawaii. And then look at this, see how I just push this puppy down? Just stuff it in and you want a big pot. So either, always organic, either I get spinach, sometimes it's kale and spinach. Love this one, because it's super greens where it has the spinach, the um, chard and the kale mixed. So this makes it easy, because these are pre-washed. Not only do I use this big one, and throw it in my smoothies in the morning, but for these soups, it's heaven. You just stuff them in the pot until it's over, until it can't handle anymore. And it cooks down a lot. So, there you go. And always check the expiration date so that it's nice and fresh. We'll add just a little more spinach to it because I love spinach. Yes, very good. So you know that the deeper green, the blue-green vegetables, <coughs> are best for you. Now I've also made this with beets where I actually take the whole beet leaves, all of the leaves, so wash them, all the leaves and the beets and cut that up. That's good for if you're low in iron or tend to be anemic. And then we're just gonna put this lid on, make certain it's flat. And then we go over here and turn on the oven, the stove, sorry. And I'm gonna put it on high and set the timer for 20 minutes because I want it to a rapid boil. And when it's a rapid boil, then I'm gonna turn it down and set the timer for 30 to 40 minutes for a medium low. So there's a little flame, but that's it. So we're gonna let this do it. I'm gonna put this timer on right now. And then I'm gonna show you, just like those famous Galloping Gourmet cooking shows. So here we had done a soup before. And this was one that had the beet leaves in it. So I'm gonna grab my my pads here and bring it over to my Vitamix. Now Vitamix is, you can get them at Costco, like 350 to 500, these things. This is the greatest thing. I would get this over a new car. This is the greatest thing I've ever had in my life. So it makes everything. It has um, features on it for smoothies, to make your own soup in here for frozen desserts. It's heaven. I love this guy. So now I'm gonna take this and put some of the liquid with the vegetables. Look at all those great colors. This is heaven. This one had cauliflower, just the white cauliflower, and it also had the squash, and then it has the beet leaves, a lot more broccoli, slightly different herbs. Now, sometimes with soups, if I want a little, little difference, I will actually, when I'm done pureeing this, throw it in at the end, I will actually put a little miso in. I like white miso, let me show you what that looks like. You get it in the refrigerated section of the, I'm not gonna do it today, but this white miso, it's slightly sweet. This is a fermented um, soybean, but it gives a little more protein and it's wonderful and it's a nice creamy taste. 
and we're someday we're gonna feel cool weather again. And as that happens, we're gonna love these soups even more. So every night when you do your soup, I actually want you to make certain you take the time, the self-care time, to warm it up no matter how tired or hungry or in a hurry you are because there's something about the stomach wants warm and nourishment and this, okay, so a key here is Kerrygold butter or organic butter and I take about a quarter of a stick and this makes it creamy. So where on the cleanse, we're not supposed to do dairy. This is not dairy. Butter, we're considering a fat. And as long as it's organic, you don't have the hormones in it. And this makes a big difference. I've had vegan clients that don't wanna put butter in, fine, but it's not gonna happen with me. I want butter, I live for butter. Okay, hold on one second, this is gonna be loud, but I just want you to see this. So start out slow. And then I'm gonna put the rest in here and I'll mix that all together and that's where, where I'll store it and then we'll drink that and that's it. So this is how you do it, just puree all that. Now, let me just say one thing. I've had some clients that say they can't, like I prefer to do it this way and notice that I only put that one inch of water because I like it thick and there are times I come home my kids have been making steak, that's all I want, I can't stand it. So tell yourself every single time to drink your bowl or cup of soup first, and if you still have to have whatever it is you're craving, you're allowed one bite. So 25 years of doing this, I've never, after having my soup, needed that one bite of anything. But you're thinking, I can't handle this soup again. But you'll drink it, your body wants it, your mind doesn't, we don't care about the mind. That's how it goes. Okay, so, Anyways, as I was saying, so some people like to chew more. So you could, once this is steamed like that, you would have cut this up into smaller bite size. And then you could keep it like that where you just have the broth and then you have the vegetables to chew. So you're welcome to do that if you like. I prefer it pureed. And the other reason is because remember on the cleanse, you, you want to give your digestion a break so your liver can detox. And the way we do that is by drinking. So your smoothie in the morning you're drinking and the soup at night you're drinking and your only solid food is once a day, which is uh, a salad or vegetables with lean protein. So these are steamed, so technically it's not really solid, but just so you know that one. And that's great. Contact me if you have questions. Thank you.